All right, we're here at Universal Studios Hollywood for another HHN Hollywood Fortnite update. And it's official, Stranger Things Season 4 is coming here at Hollywood as well. Yes! That's awesome! Now, Stranger Things is officially the third house announced by Universal Studios Hollywood. Here's the video that I just released just hours ago. Thanks for paying attention, Jordy. Sorry. Or we just skip to exactly 32 seconds in the video. Jeez, another conspiracy theory? There's no hidden stuff in the park. <sighs> Let me text Jordan. Okay, I gotta go. Ava's almost here. Escape Beckner's Curse, Stranger Things, only at Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. Hey guys, so we just got off the tram tour where they're gonna have the house of Stranger Things. It was kind of not open all of the way. So we're going to try and go back on to see if we can get a sneak peek and hopefully they opened it up. And this is what John Murdy said on Twitter today. So he said, okay boys and ghouls, here's some general info on today's announcement. The house in Hollywood is located in stage 15. Don't be confused, the studio renumbered all the stages. Even I'm confused, which is where the previous Stranger Things house were located. As the release states, you're following the storyline of Vegna's curse from season four. Encountering the iconic scenes and characters from the series along the way, we're all thrilled to partner with Netflix to bring Stranger Things back to HHN, and we hope you are too. And wait till you see Vegna in the flesh. Gotta go back to rehearsing, writing the first house for HHN 2024. I know, crazy, right? See you in the fog. All right. Here's the new shirt for Stranger Things for this beauty right here. We got The Last of Us. Very excited about this one. And of course, Chucky. This was announced last year, like right after uh, HHN 2022. And um, we saw all the movies for Chucky. We had the box set, one through seven, and a TV show, which is pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. And I gotta say, the Chucky franchise is, I think my top franchise of horror. There is um, Chucky, Freddy, and Jason. Chucky became my new favorite horror franchise. All the movies connect, and the show, they connect together, use the same actors from previous ones they talk about. I love it. No, I said Jason's last. I, he doesn't even care. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Chucky, Freddy, Michael Myers, and Jason. Jason's all over the place. Chucky stays within this lane. Let's see, I think I, I think I made a list. Okay, here's our ranking of the Chucky movie franchise, including the show. Chucky 1, Chucky 2, The Bride of Chucky, The Chucky Show, The Curse of Chucky, The Chucky Cult, 
Chucky 3 and this one my opinion our opinion is the worst one of all the seed of Chucky why Tiff Chucky <gasps> who the hell are you other than that it's, it's phenomenal horror franchise Chucky I love it but, but what even though it's like the worst one, you do have to see it to understand the TV show because they bring the kids in the TV show. Yes. The Chucky's kids. It all connects. Every all single connects. movie, they come <laughs> back together on the show. We're just coming back for uh, season three, right? Was it? Yeah, season it's three. It's coming back for renewed. season three. Season three. And I can't wait. The way it ended, I'm excited. And if you don't know already, I have braces. It's very hard to talk. Yeah. And one of the reasons we love Chucky is the adult humor, the way he brings, the actor who brings that character to life, amazing. He's been the same, he's been the voice of Chucky since the beginning, and he still is. I think he's, what, 78, in the 70s, I believe? He is 73 years old and still playing the character right now. You gotta watch it. Now you know where we're going. We're gonna see a little uh, update on the facade for Last of Us. Ooh. Oh, I was really good. <laughs> All right, now that was awesome. It looks way different from when we were here the last time. Now we're gonna go back and see it from the other way. Well, actually, we we're here a few hours down here at Super Mario World Transformers, so we're gonna we're gonna go back up and see it from the other perspective, hopefully. Alright, we're going back on the studio tour to see if we can see anything of Stranger Things in stage 15. Hopefully, we shall see. Set design, props, and transportation. So we just got the studio tram tour. Saw nothing on uh, studio 15. They closed it off. Also, before we forget, let's check a let's take a look at the speculation map. A new one. You'll see right there, Megan Roaming. I believe it's not going to be a house. From uh, what I I know, Kevin on the East Coast, he has little special connections. He, he believes from his sources it's going to be for the VIP experience only. Which I'm kind of bummed, kind of sad, because that movie was really, really good. Now what we're going to check right now is a house next to the diner inn to see if anything has changed since last time we we're here. It's Frankenstein. Haven't seen him in a bit. And yes, back to the house. I saw dolls. It was very hard to focus, but I got it. Hopefully, you can see it. And the next clip, the other crack. There's two dead figures. Who like two men or a man? Right there. There's no word on what house this is going to be. I believe it's going to be an original.
So we just finished Waterworld at night. It is amazing. It's a must see at night. Hopefully, I'm hoping they bring Slaughter World back. Because after seeing this at night, it is amazing. What do you think, babe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>